Hello everyone, this is another update on EOS uh, and we are tracking US mainnet launch. Now we are two days away from the launch uh, as the, this countdown timer is showing you. But remember, this two days is for the launch which is one day after the snapshot and after the ERC20 wallets are frozen. So you only got one more day to register your tokens, to move them outside of uh, your exchanges. Uh, one of the key update is that Binance has already frozen the withdrawal. So if you go to the Binance announcements, this was mentioned four days ago. And uh, now you cannot withdraw EOS from Binance. So they already have uh, frozen their wallets. Uh, so if you see, uh, this was targeted for uh, 0 AM UTC on 31st. And uh, that is what uh, has already happened. Now, uh, Binance is going to continue trading even through the freeze and while the mainnet is launching. And they, what they are trading is going to be ERC20 tokens. Remember, they you these wallets are frozen now after another day or so. Uh, even though Binance has, for its users, Binance has already frozen. So it means from all practical purposes, you are now, if you are trading on Binance, you are only buying from another Binance user. And they are moving the coins within their wallets and they are earning their commissions. But in reality, this is not a true price discovery. So if uh, there's a big discount on uh, EOS from some other exchange, uh, you cannot buy it and transfer to Binance. So I hope you got my point, but what I'm saying is uh, this can have some weird uh, price action. This can have some uh, big moves up and down in near future as the mainnet news uh, launches. So if you see here EOS versus Ethereum, it has been pretty st stable in last few uh, hours and maybe actually a few days. And if you look at it, uh, I think we are expecting this EOS uh, versus Ethereum to keep improving because uh, as we have talked about in some previous videos, uh, Ethereum uh, every day in during the EOS ICO, which is coming to an end tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the last distribution and contribution. So people are buying 45 million worth uh, dollars, five, 45 million dollar worth of e Ethereum only for EOS ICO. And one of the biggest demand for Ethereum today is ICOs. So you can see that uh, once this big demand dries out uh, and uh, EOS will have less selling pressure because of no new tokens getting added and Ethe uh, Ethereum will have uh, less buying pressure because there's big ICO disappears uh, and uh, that can create a huge demand. So I would say uh, EOS versus Ethereum pair, um, this can get a really big move uh, if this keeps happening. Uh, and also because uh, there's a limited supply of EOS on Binance because now they can nobody can deposit EOS into Binance. So this is one thing. And on the other hand, if there's a panic uh, during the main net, let's say there's a bug or there's a hacker attack, you can have see a sharp drop on EOS uh, on Binance because again, uh, there is a very limited uh, tokens Binance holds. It's not the full 900 million uh, uh, token supply. Uh, whatever Binance uh, people who have actually not withdrawn their tokens and they are still keeping it on Binance, those are the users uh, they have kept their tokens and that can be a small amount. So we don't know exactly how many US they hold but that is the market size you are looking at. Alright, so that is one update on the Binance exchange and uh, I think they are still not clear when they can really support the mainnet swap. I'm sure it will be later than um, a few days because first of all the mainnet has to come up and uh, they have to support the wallet integration. Binance is, must be working on uh, all that in the back end and they need to do thorough testing before they can really support the new tokens uh, which is the US public net. Uh, in general if you look at the market if we are bouncing back Bitcoin is coming back uh, from the blows. Uh, we are still not happy that it left uh, some space between uh, the trend line which we have been tracking but I think uh, this uh, bounce can sustain if we cross this uh, breakout area and it will be interesting to see whether the uh, EOS is frozen how it will have an impact on uh, this particular uh, price action on EOS. Um, so again uh, one more thing I would like to say is uh, the biggest thing uh, which we are tracking is airdrops uh, on the Genesis block. So when EOS is going to be now uh, launching, so again, two days from now, they will be starting the mainnet launch process. But tomorrow, that is one day from now, when the ERC20 token is frozen, that will be the last snapshot of who owns how many tokens. After that, you cannot buy or sell. And that snapshot is being used by many big airdrops. So one of the critical one is uh, your... Uh, Everypedia. So this is the telegram message from Everypedia 
uh, and this is where they are suggesting that uh, the snapshot they have given all the details um, and they are saying that uh, you, you have to have registered tokens uh, you cannot have uh, uh, unregistered wallets which will get a, a everypedia iq airdrop um, their method is that uh, they are going to use the genesis snapshot that means whatever is the initial token balance on the day when the mainnet uh, starts launching that is tomorrow end of the day when the erc20 is frozen and the same will carry forward to the eos public chain so what they have said is uh, you need to make sure that your eos are registered so the interesting thing is uh, which uh, they are saying that you can register all the way up to june 2nd uh, which is the start of the mainnet uh, my worry is that uh, whether it is possible it's not very clear i need to do a little more investigation because the the token the contract will be frozen uh, as soon as uh, as soon as tomorrow but i think because they have to still do some tra like distributions uh, so the actual freeze on uh, eos tokens will happen on june 2nd uh, that is uh, two days from now uh, because you they will still be distributing from their crowd sale wallet and so that may be the right uh, explanation of why they are saying it is june 2nd uh, you have to register but other, overall i think uh, the iq drop is going to happen to all those people who are holding their own wallets uh, and the, uh, the coins in their wallets and they have registered them but also they have confirmed that if you are in one of these exchanges they have already worked with everypedia and they are going to uh, support iq token listing as well as uh, uh, the airdrop so this is a bitfinex big one coinx zb.com and exx now binance is not one of them uh, and i think now binance is already frozen uh, before every everypedia came out with this they came out with this today uh, while the binance was already frozen so it will be very interesting to see how it pl plays out for binance users who kept their tokens in the exchange i hope they work out with everypedia because it's a big big announcement uh, like a big uh, token uh, because everypedia valuation as we discussed in another video it can go to uh, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, it is very very big project uh, and uh, it can actually go to billion dollar valuation if they are successful in uh, achieving what they are trying to do with the uh, encyclopedia which is really uh, uncensored uh, and uh, as you know that wikipedia can be censored in many countries like turkey and some of the um, middle eastern countries that wikipedia is actually censored and everypedia is building a, a encyclopedia which nobody can censor it's uh, going to be uh, supported on blockchain so again uh, this is uh, what we are uh, we are tracking very closely i think uh, most of you who are tracking this uh, who are watching our channel you already know that we suggested that you should register your tokens and own them yourself uh, thankfully some of the exchanges are working with everypedia but binance has not confirmed and it is going to be very very unfortunate if uh, people lose out on their tokens on binance so this is a uh, uh, few updates uh, some more things which we are watching out for is uh, some people are running a utility if you are like uh, a developer if you have some experience with software you can try out this uh, offline uh, private key check tool which uh, us authority has built so some people are testing it and this gives you some information about security of your keys and uh, i don't know how valid it is so i'm not uh, unless you really are good with coding and if you understand what you're doing you can go ahead and use it uh, we do not recommend it for a typical user uh, to go ahead and try these uh, tools because you can make mistakes and you will be entering your private key into this tool which is uh, always risky the good thing is they are claiming that this is an offline tool so once you download it you will be always offline not on the network and you cannot transmit your private keys but again uh, you have to be very careful uh, some people are highlighting that they found some cookies uh, uh, which were running when they created private key and that is what this tool is telling them and as you remember we did this video earlier on how to keep your uh, registration safe so this if you have already taken those measures when you made sure that there are no unidentified cookies were running i don't think you should be worried about that so that's the only thing which people are able to find with this tool right now and uh, other than that i would say your keys uh, just be sure that your keys are kept in a safe place if you are using some kind of a notepad or some kind of uh, pc utility make sure that that cannot be hacked or that is encrypted or uh, you are making uh, that like in taking all the precautions that nobody steals your private key so all the best guys for uh, this launch i think tomorrow onwards we will again do some videos on what is going on i think for next two days we do not expect a lot of news 
there will be we will do some more details on uh, um, we will talk about the more details on airdrops and so on but i think uh, two days from now i think the real action starts and what you can expect uh, on mainnet launches there will be a lot of uh, news flow on a minute to minute action and we will keep reporting uh, how it goes uh, do join our facebook channel um, the investing with the difference uh, and the group uh, the, where we will talk more about how us launch is going and uh, what is happening uh, on the day of uh, mainnet launch thanks for joining again subscribe to our channel for more information bye for